This is going to be a bridge variation that works on getting your shoulders behind your back into some extension. Um, so starting off, I'm going to lie down on my back. I like with the bridge to bend my knees as much as possible because it helps me to get more of a stretch through the front of my hips and thighs. So I'm going to lie down. I'm going to set up my bridge with my heels as close to my butt as I can get them. I want to make sure that there's a straight line for my hip, my knee, to my foot. A lot of people tend to go with their feet a little too wide or the feet too narrow. Do your best to try and keep it so there's this line going straight down from your hip, your knee, to your ankle with your knees having that bent. Now starting off here, I'll have my hands at my sides and I'm going to lightly engage my stomach with a little bit of outward pressure in my lower abdomen, flattening my lower back into the floor. And as I do that, I want to keep that stomach tension as I raise up, pressing through my heels. A lot of people, I watch their feet and they start to press onto their toes. Keep the pressure on the heels so there's this co-contraction between your stomach and your butt, right? So these two areas are working together and I'll feel a little bit of tension into my thighs. Now, for the shoulders, I start off with hands pretty much down at the sides. And as you get up into that bridge, I want you to very lightly with your hands, turn your thumbs out and squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. So this just lightly opens the shoulder. As I do this, I'm squeezing down into the back of my armpit, into my tricep, and my lat, a little bit of the back of the rotator cuff. So it's just a turning out, downward pressure as I'm up in that bridge for three to five seconds and back down. Now, I wanna start gradually working my hands closer together. So if that was fine, I'll lose the palm up position. I'll go palm down. I'll go closer to my trunk. I'll do the same thing, stomach tension, lightly pressing into my heels as I raise up. And then with my hands here, I'm gonna lightly pull my shoulders, same thing, down and back against the table. Hold for five seconds and then relax. If that's okay, I'm trying to get my hands closer to each other under my body. So now maybe I'm getting my fingertips just to touch. Now as my hands go closer, it is gonna be harder to pull my shoulders down and back, which is okay, but it's gonna to start to give me more of a stretch through the top outside of the shoulder. So same thing up into the bridge. Once I get up there, I'm trying to squeeze my shoulders down and back, hold and back down. And then if that's going all right, I was like this, now I'll start to bring my hands together clasped. So hands clasped underneath me. I have my elbows straight, so I'm almost reaching down towards my feet. As I raise up into the bridge, I do that same shoulder pull down and back and relax. So what you're seeing here is that while I have this mostly lower body stabilization maneuver um, working from my legs, I'm also working into this shoulder stretch with it. Gradually my hands are going closer together and then let's say I'm working on my left shoulder that it's a little bit tighter. Once I'm able to come together, I may start to bring this left hand over towards the right and I'll show you in standing, but that same thing, I'll bring that hand and I'll use my right hand to kind of pull it down towards my right heel, same squeeze. And then I'll start taking it up higher and higher. So you can see it standing, I'm starting here, or I'm actually starting out wide, then palms flat, then hands closer, then hands clasped. And then let's say my left shoulder is the tighter shoulder, I'll use my right hand to drag it across as I squeeze. And then I'll let my right or my left hand start to crawl up my right. So here, as I raise up into that bridge, I'll squeeze. So this way I'm kind of biasing the flexibility of one shoulder, trying to work on stretching this while I'm going through that bridge position.